Hello, I'll be giving you a brief demonstration of Adam, our foundational math assessment. This particular assessment technically covers math instruction from grade ranges kindergarten to 7th slash 8th grade. As with all of our assessments, the initial interface you see is chosen based on the student's grade level. So in this example, we're looking at an elementary age student's interface. There's also a middle school interface, and then there's also a 8th grade and above interface that has no avatar. Now the real power of Adam isn't necessarily in just looking at questions, it's really in the adaptive logic behind the scenes. So Adam will test students in 44 sub-tests of mathematics. It goes up and down based on students' ability and it finds instructional points. Skills are tested within sets. So if we test a student on uh, fractions within a particular skill, we are going to give them multiple questions in that area until we know they have mastery or non-mastery and then we move on to another skill area within that same subtest. All right, let's take a look at a few different items here. This one here is just a simple fraction question. Let's look at another one. Zoe and Logan are together at school. In this particular question, because it's a word problem, we actually read the text to the students because we want to control for a reading issue. All of Adam will have help anytime there's something that requires reading then the audio will kick in and students will be able to have the um, text read aloud to them. In this way, we are controlling for outside confounds, like a reading confound, because we want to purely test a student's math ability. Let's take a look at another question. All right, here's a coordinate graphing question. And again, we're trying to find out the equation for the line. The student would have to calculate it, figure it out, and then they'd be able to click on the right answer. Now, the other piece about Adam that you have to realize is that, again, it's the adaptive logic we are covering numbers and operation, measurement, geometry, data probability, and algebra thinking. In all these areas, we find instructional points. So I really want to encourage you to watch the other demos that are going to show you the follow-up reports that are available in real time as soon as a student finishes an assessment. The other really powerful report is the Instructional Classroom Placement Report, which will allow a teacher to break his or her classroom up into small groups. All right, thank you.